Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to go from Maya to Mudbox and then back to Maya and um, I'm using Maya 2017 and Mudbox 2016 so yeah in Maya I'm just going to go to polygons and I'm just going to create a simple sphere and uh, then I'm just going to scale it up and uh, then I'm going to increase the subdivision so I'm going to go to my poly sphere and I'm just going to increase these to around 50 each well, let's make them 100 so it's nice and smooth um, and then i'm going to export this model to mudbox so in this tutorial i'm not going to go into uvs uh, that's a whole tutorial on its own so i'm just going to basically show you guys how to go from maya export to mudbox do some sculpting and painting and then bring that back into maya so i'm just going to select this uh, sphere and then i'm going to go to file and then i'm going to go to export selection and here by files of type, I'm going to set this to OBJ export. And then I'm just going to browse to my folder. And then I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it mesh. And I'm going to leave all the settings default. And then I'm going to click on export selection. All right, then I'm going to go into Mudbox. And I'm going to go file open. And I'm going to browse to that folder. And I'm going to select the mesh.obj. And I'm going to click on open. As you can see, it's giving me a warning box. Uh, all you have to do is just click on keep this mesh. I'm not going to go into details why it's doing that so it works fine so don't really worry about that and um, now you've got your model in modbox and you can do your sculpting so i'm just going to click on sculpt here at the bottom and i'm going to set the size to um let's say to around two and the strength i'm going to leave on one and i'm just going to do a little bit of sculpting here so i'm just going to go around here and just create some extra geometry so i'm just going to add some random things to this mesh Right, and then I'm going to go to my paint tools and I'm going to click on paintbrush. Uh, let's select a color. Let's do like a dark gray maybe. And um, then click on done. And I'm going to set the size to around 5. And I'm just going to change. Uh, once you click, it's going to create a new paint layer. Just click on OK. That's all fine. And I'm just going to just paint this whole object uh, with this nice dark gray color. So I'm just going to go around and paint um, all around this object mesh okay that's looking good and um, let's just zoom in here slightly and um, then we're going to choose another color let's choose red click on done and i'm going to change the size back to one and i'm just going to add some color to these points that i created all right so once you're done with your sculpting and your painting you obviously want to export your new mesh and your texture back into maya so first let's export the mesh so I'm going to go to the select and move tools here at the bottom and I'm going to click on object and I'm just going to select this object so it will actually highlight it in yellow like that and then we're going to go to file and um, then we're going to click on export selection and I'm just going to browse to that folder again and then I'm going to give it a name so I'm going to call this mesh underscore new and I'm going to save that and next we want to export our texture so I'm going to click on file and uh, then we're going to go to export all paint layers now you can obviously do this per model but in this case it's just the model that we're working on so i'm going to leave it all models and then i'm just going to browse to that folder again and i'm going to click on choose and then export all right so if we go into the finder we'll see that we've got the new mesh um, it will actually give us a little preview here in finder if you're on a mac uh, so you can look at that new mesh and it's also going to give you your PNG texture. So now we're going to go into Maya and we're just going to load that new mesh. So I'm going to delete my sphere and then I'm going to go file import and I'm going to choose my mesh underscore new dot OBJ. Click on import and you'll see that's going to import your new model. And because I'm using Maya 2017, I'm going to render with the new Arnold renderer. So next I'm going to open the Hypershade to create our new material. And I'm going to go to Arnold and then Shader Surface. And I'm going to click on AI Standard. And then next to Color, I'm going to click on the checker box. And I'm going to choose File. Then next to Image Name, I'm going to click on the folder. Then I'm going to browse to that folder again. And I'm going to load my layer default material diffuse paint layer 1. PNG file, so I'm going to click on Open. And uh, then I'm going to assign that to my mesh. So I'm just going to middle click and drag onto the new mesh. And um, then in the viewport, if you don't see the material, you can go to shading and then just click on hardware texturing. 
and that's basically going to give you like a quick preview of your material inside the viewport which is pretty cool and that's how easy it is to go from maya to mudbox do some sculpting and painting and then export that back into maya i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial click on the like button if you did and remember i upload new tutorials on a weekly basis so please click on that subscribe button to be notified thanks for watching cheers bye